when food get into the digestive tract, it's broken down mechanically and chemically. Mechanically by the means of teeth, stomach and intestinal muscles. Chemically, enzymes from saliva, hydrochloric acid from the stomach, digestive juices from the liver and pancreas, and also in the small intestine by the brush border enzymes. Digestive tract has a two types of smooth muscles. One are circular, means that they are like, like a rubber bands around the digestive tract. And another is a due to long muscles, which is basically like a pipe. And those muscles will move food from top to the bottom. It's very important big moving from the top to bottom. Okay, and when it's moving, it's get broken down by this circular muscles into smaller portions. The smaller portions kind of churning of the food. As a result, food get more um, mixed, mixed better with uh, digestive enzymes uh, or broken down chemically. Basically, food has a four big categories, no matter how you look at your plate. It has piece of protein, usually comes with fat. If it's feed, fish, it will be omega-3. If it's pork or beef, it's going to be fat from pork and beef. From in beef. So it's protein plus fat. Then there is a place for complex carbohydrates and there's fruits and vegetables, basically fibers and vitamins and minerals. So protein, fat, carbohydrates, I would love to have on your plate only complex carbohydrates and fruits and vegetables. When you look at the structure of the protein, the building blocks of the protein are amino acids. They are individual, there are several different of them and they form a long chain and that chain falls again and it falls again. Fat could be saturated or unsaturated. This example of unsaturated fat, you can see one double connection between carbon atoms. Uh, atoms. This has none. Complex carbohydrates called starches and it's long and branched chain of pieces of sugar that get combined together again and again and they are branching. Fruits and vegetables are fibers, some of them soluble, some of them not, and the fibers are connected. And here between the fibers, we have vitamins and minerals that sit in here and uh, get released as food get digested. Now, let's go to our drawing board and draw. So you already, I already have pre-draw the digestive tract. And um, this is the mouse with the teeth. As you get put food here, you start to break it down by the means of teeth. There is no other organ like the mouse that will break the big pieces of teeth. Also, the uh, mouse will produce saliva, which will keep breaking carbo complex carbohydrates into pieces of sugar. Then after that, smaller pieces of food will drop down into the stomach and stomach will produce hydrochloric acid. By the effect of hydrochloric acid, we will continue to break down protein. So you remember that protein is a long chain of different amino acids that get combined. One looks like that, the other is this one, and the other is like that one. So the connect, connection between those amino acids gets broken. As food keeps moving, through the small intestine, it's broken down further here by the means of pancreas, by pancreatic enzymes, and the liver is located here, which will produce bile and also will drain here into small intestine and food will continue to be broken down. Protein into individual amino acids, AA stays for amino acid. So they will end up here and get absorbed through the digestive tract into the bloodstream. And this is your bloodstream. So fat also is broken down by uh, pancreatic enzymes and by the liver juices also get absorbed into the bloodstream. Carbohydrates broke, broken down into individual pieces of sugar. Let's just draw them around. And they will get absorbed into your bloodstream. And here they are. And this is... Uh, amino acid in the bloodstream and some fibers. Fibers in the digestive are 
undigestible fibers, I want to say, um, act in the digestive tract as a sponge. They basically scratch it, scratch it, scratch it, and they clean it. Also, water, vitamins, minerals, oops, water, vitamins, minerals get absorbed here through, uh, through the small intestine into the bloodstream. So um, water will end up here. Uh, vitamins plus minerals from um, uh, from the um, fruits and vegetables and also some and complex carbohydrates also have um, um, vitamins and minerals. Undigested food will go oops will go out of the digestive tract right into the bathroom. So you understand how important it is to break down food here in the mouth, in the mouth, then have a hydrochloric acid here to break food down, then in small intestine, break food further down that individual parts could be absorbed. When you look at the microscope on the microscope on the brush border, let me just draw here for you example of small intestine. Small intestine, if this is the small intestine, lumen, is lined by the cells inside called enterocytes. Those enterocytes are very important. So this is the both sides. And the food is coming from here. You know, the food coming from here. Those cells, enterocytes, they are full of machinery. They, they're full of um, um, receptors. So let's say this receptor is, looks like that. And this receptor is particular specific, let's say for this type of amino acid. So when this type of amino acid comes in, here it is, in get, it get attached to this receptor. This amino acid get incorporated inside the cell. And then from the cell, get released into your bloodstream. So this is the bloodstream. So in the bloodstream, we have individual amino acids. So and those, so the health of those enterocytes are essential because they have for this amino acids, this let's say, this receptor is going to be looking like that because this receptor is for a piece of sugar. When a piece of sugar comes in, it sits on this receptor, then the both sugar and receptor get incorporated into enterocytes. And only then it get released, it get released into the bloodstream. When the enterocytes are healthy, almost nothing goes between enterocytes. The junctions are very tight. A little bit water when the person is dehydrated will go through and also a little bit minerals. Usually everything goes into enterocyte and only then get released into the bloodstream. The health of those enterocytes are extremely important. If some damage happened to these enterocytes, so they will become inflamed. Inflammation means that they cannot work appropriately. If they cannot work appropriately, food is not absorbed. That's it for today, guys. Um, I hope I made myself clear. So see you next time.